Good morning. I uh, just got done with a 5K. Um, headed back to my car now. It's about 6.30, 6.40 in the morning. Um, last night, Wade and I sold our big bulky couches from our old house. Um, and we are excited because we are going to go to Memphis today and shop at Ikea. We have some things picked out, probably like a couch, maybe a chair, rug, st other stuff that um, we've actually been waiting since everything with COVID has happened. We have not been able to drive um, to get these things and we live in a small area where there is not that much um, to pick from, you know, the, but we don't even have a Target. So anyways, there's a couple of stores that we want to hit up that are not around us. So we're just going to make a day trip out of it and just um, explore and maybe come home with some furniture. So that's what we're about to do. Um, we're going to head on to the house, get a shower, and we'll see you guys in a minute. be there in about an hour and a half and um, we'll show you if there's anything interesting to see. <laughs> hey guys so we just got into Memphis it is like 9 42 and we are about to go into Target and um, find some goodies. Yeah so we are leaving Target about to go over to Ikea. Wayne got him some <laughs> new chapstick um and then he got a shirt i think we got mcallister two shirts um there wasn't much going on i wanted to look at some magnolia stuff but they didn't have hardly anything and we've already seen what they had um so we didn't get anything like that maybe we'll have better luck at ikea So, um, we just pulled up to Ikea. Mm -hmm. Disclosure, we have actually never been to an Ikea. So, this is going to be our first time. So, we're probably just going to... We're going to look for certain things that we've already looked for online and kind of what fits our... What we're going to try to buy today. But also, we're just going to take it in because I've been wanting to go to Ikea for like 10 years. And we've never had one close enough. And finally, we get to go. So, um, So about four hours later, yes. Um, we spent about three and a half plus hours in IKEA. We went through it, the whole thing. Um, like we said, we had never been there, so we just kind of didn't really know what to expect, but kind of did. Or what to do? Yeah, we didn't know what to do, how to buy things. So, anyways, we had to get schooled on that, and they didn't have any half the things that we wanted. They didn't have in stock, so we did not get the couch that we wanted to get and there was um two different tv stands that we wanted to get we did not get so the two three big large items that we wanted we did not get um and we did not find a rug but we'll have to go somewhere else to get that um they may have those wednesday so we're just going we got schooled on how to use the app and how to find out we tried to purchase it and actually have it there for us so we could just pick it up can't do that um so anyways we're gonna try to do this later on in the middle of the week and see if we can come and get those items to finish up what we wanted but we did get the mirror that we wanted yep um we got chair. four bar stools yep. we got a chair um and, and then we got some small other things. small things that we could use and anyways so we got half of the things so but that was an experience three and a half yes. hours with a mask never have done that nope. so that was a little and I don't know if all Ikeas are about the same, but shopping with a shopping cart <laughs> doesn't happen. Does not happen whatsoever. I ended up having awful. to ditch it. 
It might have been because we are there in the middle of a shopping area. Like this is by the mall, it's by everything that's in Memphis. Busy. And it's Saturday and it was the middle of the day. <sighs> I just <laughs> exhausting. Yeah, we're exhausted. We're in the Wendy's parking lot and we're about to get us some chicken nuggets. Um and a soda. Chicken nugs. Yeah. So anyways, we just wanted to let you guys know it wasn't a bad experience. No, it was. It, we, were, we, we, we knew it. we were going to spend some time in there. And yes, we actually really enjoyed it. We were just a little overwhelmed because they didn't have the couches that we want. We even was going to get a different couch, then have that couch. The couches yeah, it was, weren't we, going to fit in our living room. Yeah, we walked the entire building and then had to walk it again <laughs> because we didn't know what we wanted. Yeah. And then it was, it was very disappointing to finally decide on some things and then the first two or three items we went to they were out of stock yeah and it was kind of like oh my goodness we're leaving empty-handed but it turned around yeah it did turn around I was a little down for a minute um but we ended up getting some of the things we yeah if you've ever been there you know and you live and you learn and we kind of know now we if we can get that stuff Wednesday, I don't really see us ever needing to go back, at least until we move to Florida, which is like five or six years from now. Um, so we'll know how to shop there then, or maybe we can help somebody else out. <laughs> I don't know. But um, we know how to do it now, so that was pretty cool. It was, I enjoyed it. So it wasn't a bad experience. It wasn't the best experience. It's just a learning it was an experience. and long experience with the mask. So anyways, we're about to get some chicken nuggets. So see y'all later. <laughs> So today, um, McAllister and I, see there's McAllister. He don't want to look at you. He's eating his, eating his Chick-fil-A. We have decided to go to Ikea to hopefully pick up the couch and the ottoman that we need. Their website says they have it in stock. We'll see, I hope so. But we'll let you know once we get there. Until then, it's Chick-fil-A time. Um, nom, 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 nom. Alright everybody, so we are pulling our stuff in Ikea, um, or at least the couch and a couple other things, so we can go ahead and pay for it, and then we'll, McAllister and I is going to walk back through, and then uh, kind of pick up some other stuff, but a lot less busy than it was Saturday, and a lot easier of a process, definitely now that we know what we're doing, um, but yeah, so far so good. Okay, everybody, so um, Ikea was a success today. We actually, well, partly a success. We actually bought our couch, thank goodness, and the ottoman to go with it. Um, but they didn't have like a little table we wanted and um, they didn't have a bench that we had wanted. And they're still out of stock of the other two items. So they won't get that in for another month. But, um, Definitely not as crowded, nowhere near as crowded as it was last Saturday. Um, so it made the shopping experience very enjoyable. Um, McAllister had a blast, he enjoyed it. Um, and right now we are about to head back home and assemble everything that we got. So I hope you guys enjoy. finally home from Ikea and uh, just got the stuff loaded into the house and fixing to build the couch and the ottoman but I'll show you also uh, some other things that we got while we were 
in the store. All right, so some of the things that we got when we were in there. Last time, Samantha picked these gummies up and they were really good. Kind of remind me of Sour Patch Kids. Um, I don't remember the flavor. Oh yeah, lemon or lime flavored. So I went ahead and picked up another one of these because they, they weren't that expensive. It was less than $2. And I went ahead and I picked this one up here. We'll see how that is. And then I picked this one up as well. And then McAllister picked up two bags of some type of chocolates. One of them tasted like a Heath bar, which I was not a fan of. The other one was okay. And, and I can't remember. It tasted like something I had before, but I don't remember what it was. But there's the legs for our couch and the legs for our ottoman. And I'm about to start assembling the couch, but there it is in the floor. And there's Remy. Yay, hey Remy. There he is. Don't look like there's much to this. Legs, that's about all. And the ottoman is still in the box. I've not unboxed it. But I'll, I'll show you the final project. I just got done running, um, just a little mile. And uh, I guess you guys saw where Wade and McAllister went to Ikea to finish up our shopping. Got us a couch, got us an ottoman, got a couple other little small things. And um, yeah, so you can see that we didn't get to finish everything that we wanted. Um, we still didn't get TV stands and a bench and like little side tables and stuff but we can get that later i think maybe some of it will be in stock in september so maybe we'll be done um one trip turns into three but um anyways i guess we'll show you what we got and um let you know how much we like it i love the couch way more than i ever thought i would um in the space that it's in so hope you guys do too we'll show you and just a little bit all right guys so this is the mirror that we got from Ikea um, really like it we have needed a mirror that wasn't just to here um, for a really long time so I'm excited about that um, and then we got some of these so these are just some stuff that we can have for storage and then we got two of these to put in our large cabinet. Um, we also got these. This is the couch in the ottoman that we got. Um, Wayne Galster went and picked up today. You see these bar stools right here. This is what we picked up the other day. Say hey, Remy. Um, and then we got these. Candies. We actually got this candy the other day and got some chocolate. Um, it was really good. And then Wade picked me up some more because I really, really liked it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so these are the bar stools. We have a black and white and gray theme kind of going on. And then this is the chair, which obviously um, we're still missing some furniture. It looks so much better in here. It feels so much better in here. Um, it's actually starting to come together. We actually have somewhere to sit and eat other than sitting on our old dumpy couch. And then um, this nice couch that we have. And so everything that we got, um, I love. What about you, babe? Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> he was sleeping on the couch when I got home. Well, he was watching TV and laying down. So, but I love it. So um, we're probably about to make tacos. And um, Wade's getting the diffuser ready. What kind of scent do you have going on? Flight of Passage, which is apparently your favorite scent. Yes. Um, if you haven't seen that video, um, it's the one that we put out right before this one. So go check that out. It's a uh, yeah, it's a newlywed game that we did with the Hides Do Disney 
Let's Find Fun and Chris um, from Bang Bang Potato Hello. Tonic. I don't know what to call him, but anyways, his stuff is um, plugged in that video as well. So you can check those guys out. Um, that was a fun video. And um, I'm sure we're going to go back to Ikea soon. So we'll have another one of those videos. But this is where we end this vlog because I... We're all nasty, so we need showers, and then we're gonna have tacos, and then we're probably gonna sit on our brand new comfy couch. Don't know what I was gonna say. A brand new comfy couch, and watch some TV, maybe play a board game, because Wade said he wanted to play a board game, so we'll see. Anyways, um, bye.